Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum friends in this video I am going to evaluate width and diameter of cross flow runner by using some formulas so I will show you all the formulas in this video and moreover I will also show you how to calculate the power output from a cross flow turbine before going further let me introduce you to my youtube channel solidworks tutorials and engineering news where you will find huge quantity of videos regarding solidworks and engineering so please don't forget to press subscribe button and this bell icon for all upcoming video notification let's start at the moment i have the net head of 18 meter and discharge of 0 0.08 meter cube per second so first of all let me show you how to calculate the power output for that i have this formula the power output is the product of flow rate into gravity multiplied by head and multiplied by efficiency which is approximately 65 percent in case of cross flow turbines so let me show you how to derive this formula as you know power is equal to work done divided by time and work done is also the product of force dot distance for force which is equal to mass acceleration which will become gravity in this case so putting all these values uh, in this formula we will get mass gravity and d d will become height or net head of water so the whole product is divided by time the flow rate is also equal to mass per unit time So now this formula will become power flow rate multiplied by gravity multiplied by net head and then efficiency. So this is the power formula according to, according to this formula we have flow rate Eight zero liters per second, and net head is eighteen meter. Now putting all these values in this formula, we will get the actual power output. Eight zero multiply one eight multiplied by nine point eight. And then the efficiency 0 0.65 for the cross flow turbines. Let me open calculator. 80 multiplied by 18 multiplied 9.8 multiply 0 0.65 so this is the power output in parts now we have to divide this by 1000 or 1000 9.17 kilowatt is the actual output power next step is to calculate turbine speed so for that I have this formula turbine speed is equal to under root net head multiplied by 38 and divided by diameter of turbine so let's calculate in word now putting these values or actual values in this formula we will get the speed one eight multiply 
58 and divided by the diameter for diameter we have to assume it by ourselves at the moment let me select 300 millimeter diameter or 0.3 meter now calculating these values we will get the speed of turbine One eight under root multiplied by three eight, and then divided by zero point three, we will get five three seven RPMs. Five three seven. This is the speed of turbine at full load. Without load, the speed of turbine is called runway speed. The runway speed could be evaluated by multiplying this figure with 1.8. 5.37 multiplied by 1.8. Let me calculate. 967. this is the runway speed runway speed is the speed of turbine without any load next step is to calculating the width of runner distance from this line up to this line is called width of runner and it could be evaluated by using this formula runner width is equal to discharge and divided by the product of diameter of turbine under root net head and then multiplied by 0 0.8 so let me show you width of runner is equal to discharge in meter cube per second divided by the product of diameter of turbine under root net head and 0 0.8 so let me put the values as our discharge was 80 liters per second so it is 0 0.08 meter cube per second divided by diameter of turbine which is 0 0.3 meter then One eight under root one eight, which is the head, and then zero point eight, which is the constant. So calculating these values, first of all, we will calculate this product. One eight under root, and then multiplied by. 0 0.3 and then multiplied by 0 0.8 1.018 so width is 0 0.08 divided by 1.018 now calculating again 0 0.08 divided by 1.018 so now we get 0 0.078 meter width of the runner now putting width is equal to 0 0.078 meter which is also equal to 78 millimeters 
i hope you had learned from this video if uh, there is any problem uh, please comment below or text me on my facebook page a link to my facebook page and uh, my id is written in the description of this video and if you have any suggestions please feel free to contact me thanks for watching and sharing your time